Hello, my YouTube family. Disciple here for New Gaming, and you might notice that the graphics on this episode are much, much improved. Um, I have, I figured out that to improve the the quality or the display of this game, you have to actually use a separate program from the game. The options are in the game. It's called Final Fantasy XI Config, and I messed around with those on that, and I put them to the highest settings because this laptop can handle. Like, it can handle that easily. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead and. Go back to where we were. Log in with new game in. Looks much better, in my opinion. I don't know what you guys would think. Uh, leave a comment below, though. Alright. Connecting. I'm gonna get a little more familiarized, a little more familiarized with the combat first. So, I'm gonna do a few more battles real quick. Let's get this, uh, worm. I'm gonna do it first, and then I'll go ahead and do the auto combat. You know me, you buddy. Well, in the last episode, was telling me that moving around really doesn't help the combat system at all, so I'm not gonna do that anymore. And uh, I have to say that it's, it's pretty apparent that this is uh, Square Enix's first attempt on my multiplayer. This combat system is really simple, but I honestly don't think it's that bad. It definitely could be a lot worse, especially with how old this game is. So I think their first attempt wasn't there, wasn't very bad at all. I'm not a fan of the auto lock on. I'd actually prefer turn base, but you know you can't complain. We're gonna cast the on him, or oh, I gotta select the target. Okay. So I gotta get more a little more familiar with the combat system, and apparently if I get um. Rank 5 with a uh, weapon. Then I can, um. Learn a skill. I don't really want to use the dagger much, though, but, uh. It's all I got for now. Oh, actually, after this, I'll go buy some more, um. I had to, I had to try to find a store to buy a better weapon. I'm looking for probably either a sword or an axe. So, yeah. And there's his heart. The health bar goes down there, I think, above mine, so. Alright, I got some experience points. Let's take this tunnel one now. Magic, Dia, Target. There we go. Let's see if this house down here. Dia actually did. Oh, Dia drains your health too, I think. Not 100%, but it was going down. I also think it lowers something. I should check that. Get him. Alright, um... Where's the magic? Where's the magic? Let's, let's look it up. Where's... Found an earth crystal in Worm. Yeah, earth crystal. Um, can I look up what it does? Lowers the enemy's defense and gradu gradually deals light elemental damage. Nice. So there it is. So I'm getting more used to it. You can learn Jitsu and summons. I don't know you could do summons in this. Oh man, I'm gonna have to get some of those. Blue magic too, I think it's like defensive magic. Black magic is usually damaging magic, and white magic is usually healing magic. Kind of mixed with defensive too. I'm pretty sure Song is probably like booster attack or defense. I don't know what ninjutsu does. I've never heard of ninjutsu being in Final Fantasy. Alright, let's go. Oop. I accidentally stopped my recording for a second. Let's, um. Zero changes targets. Alright, let's get him with some gear. Alright, buddy. See, my health is right here. I've got 26. I don't know how much he has, but he doesn't have very much. Here's my health again, too. I think. Yeah. Well, I have gone. I think I'll be okay. After this, I'll probably head back and see if I can uh, find a merchant or something. New, I learned Mosp Sting. Yeah, my dagger leveled up again, so... I can use that new ability. Let's try that out before I go. I leveled up, too, so I think I get healed. Yep. 10 level 3. Do I have to level myself up, or...? I think I, I think last time I had it, I didn't have to do that. Let's check. Diary. 
Spirits at five. Red Mages at three. Magic skills. Ooh, amateur. There's a lot to this game. Alright, um. So I guess you can't level up? Unless, wait. Person is class kid. Let's see how it's bizarre. Macros, config, desk, help desk, playtime, current time. Should play that down. No, I don't think so. I guess not. Alright, where, 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 where did I come from? Over here, right? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to go back to that guy anyway when I learn a skill. Let's try it out on uh, this one over here. No, no magic abilities. Fucking skill wasp sting. Let's use it on him. Oh, okay, so I have to be attacking him already. Him with wasps. Let's see what this is. How much damage does that do? Six points. Not much. Let's try it again. Oh, he's down right here. Alright, let's head back. I think this is where I came from, I believe. <clears throat> Alright, I'm gonna talk to that guy. I think I'll finish my quest. <clears throat> Alrighty. Best stock markets. Sounds like a good place to do some shopping. I think he's over here. This guy here, yeah, go doggo. Somebody went and learned a new weapon skill, didn't he? Very good. Thank you. I can see by that twinkle in your eyes that you've already used it on some poor unfortunate creature. I'll explain it just a bit more. I'll explain just a bit more. Whenever your tactical points reach 100% or more, stuck doing abilities and then weapon skill from the menu will display a list of usable weapon skills. These are deadly techniques capable of rendering massive amounts of damage massive damage on enemies. It is well worth an adventurous time to learn and learn and master them. Uh, by the way, were you fortunate enough to receive some items from the monsters you fought? If you're lucky enough to come across beastmen's, any beastmen's seals, make sure you hang on to them. They may pay dividends later on. Also, that reminds me, there's another lesson better learned sooner than later. The items you would no doubt come across known as crystals, such as earth crystals and fire crystals, are extremely significant. I think I have an earth crystal. They are truly versatile items that can be used for a number of purposes. They, these include trading them to the guards for certain rewards, and selling them to earn money, just to name a few. For now, I'd like to explain more about another of their uses, namely the role they play in synthesis. Sounds interesting. But first things first, your reward for completing your last assignment, here you are, then a lizard tail, a pot of honey, and last but not least, a fire crystal. Sweet. Right? Now, using a fire crystal will bring up the synthesis in your face. Once there's like a lizard tail and pot of honey as the ingredients to be added, all that remains is to select OK option and the synthesis will commence. To find that crafting the crafting process will never begin should the ingredients you selected not form a viable synthesis recipe. Also, even when your materials are correct, there is always a chance that your synthesis will fail, so please be wary. The majority of items you will create via synthesis, as well as most of those dropped by enemies you defeat, can be placed on the auction house for sale. The auction house is an ultra consumer, ultra consumer menu where you can buy, you can attempt to purchase the wares of other players by placing bits, as well as have other players bid on items that you have put up for sale. My words alone can do no justice to the vast cornucopia of goods that is the auction house. One simply must see it with one's own eyes. Hmm, that's quite a lot of cover. Are you with me thus far? I got you, man. And that brings us to your next assignment. Somewhere in this great city lies our nation's auction house. Seek it out and report back to me when you found it. Interesting. You needn't worry about going through with the actual purchase. Simply examining any of the auction counters will be will more than suffice. Okay, I got a mission. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, synthesize some stuff. Fire crystal. Where is that at? There it is. Alright. Honey. 
It's a tail. Yeah. Okay. Synthesizing. Let's see what we make. He didn't tell me. If it does work, I said there was a chance it wouldn't. My cooking, my cooking scale rises 0.1 points. Sweet. So it worked. You synthesized a chunk of sweet lizard. <laughs> an incredible, simply an incredibly simple dish. That a dish made by roasting lizard tail, basted with honey. <laughs> Interesting. All right, let's see if we can. There was a map here earlier. I must have closed it out. Um, let's open that back up. Oh. I don't know how to do that. I thought I had a map up earlier. Didn't I? Yeah. Um. Controls, sound, nope. mouse, camera, nope, camera, I don't know, how do I get my, something will come with telling me, I feel like a fool, Ooh, macros. Edit the user to find macros in your macro palettes. What does that mean? I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's a help desk. Um, using our keyword map. What? Is it downloading data or is it. Okay. Trying to do a fake loss. I didn't come down by a say. Take a screenshot of the map. Let's use it. Let's go around the case. Just replace it on. Such a new. I'm doing open my let's play. <laughs> Can I scroll down now? I guess not. <laughs> Sorry about this. What if I forgot. I thought I had a map up earlier, didn't I? System tells me that I don't have a map for that region. What is the market I should check out? Mm -hmm. okay. I guess I didn't have one earlier, really. I don't know. Alright, whatever. So how am I supposed to find my way around? I'm supposed to remember. What is this? Tell me at least. Can't really tell what that is. Ninja's goods. What am I supposed to be doing? I don't want to buy a sword or something too, and then I gotta do that quest. Win. Let's talk to her. Bye. Oh, she's not looking good. I've only got six to go anyway. What should I sell? I'm not gonna sell anything. Oops. Turn around. <laughs> How do I change my camera? It's gotta be. Oh, there, okay. Use the direction buttons. I figured that out quick. I bet you guys are happy. I will be a new with the rest of the game. It's pretty simple, but uh, I gotta take my hand off the mouse, so. Kinda sucks. And they're inverted, too, which is kinda weird. Dream had armor. I don't really want armor at this point. I want a different weapon so I can get the skill points necessary to get skills for it. What is this? Dragon's Claws. Sounds interesting. Whoa, I like that sword. Give me that. Talk to him. 
Can we afford anything? Bronze sword, digging sword. Okay, so he's got a bunch of swords that I can buy at this point. Um, I'd like to get that bronze sword. I only have 60 gil, though. I might have to sell something. Um, how much of this gonna? 29. Is it gonna be 29? 14. 1. Oh. How much longer have? Okay, how many pieces of this do I have? I think I can sell like four. Someone's gonna be like, no, don't sell your meat jerky. <laughs> it helps you. So did I sell it? Okay, now I have 176. I still have enough, I don't think. Cheapest store was 278. Crap. Um, this stinks. I'll sell my dagger. How much did I get, man? Take it off. Put on a grip. Okay. Got it. Figuring it out pretty quick. Pretty, pretty quickly. I mean, dagger. How much? I thought I unequipped it. Okay, now we're not, maybe I'm not figuring it out very quickly. <laughs> it's not there anymore. I can't unequip it. I don't have it equipped anymore. I can't sell it? Guess not. So it's unequipped. For sure. But I can't sell it. That sucks. I'll keep one of those. I'll just go fight some more enemies after. I visit the uh, auction house. Open. Right. Where are the auction houses? I don't remember if he told me or not. Uh, quest. Current. No current quest. None. Oh, that really sucks. Um, what, missions? I don't know the difference, but okay. Okay. This is the expansion pack missions. I don't think I should do these. Um. Yeah, those are some delay. Isn't that where I am? Well, let's just stop wasting time. Look around right in my... <laughs> that works. Maybe let's just go back and ask him. Alright, let's look over here. This looks like I got an auction house. Okay, I actually found it. Wow. <laughs> Not doing so bad. That was a cool pet. It is a guy. Come here, stuff. <laughs> I'm joking. I, this game, I want to actually uh, enjoy this game as much as I can, so I don't want any help. What's up for sale? Great swords, axes, scythes, ooh, katanas. What should I get, guys? Oof. So this is Final Fantasy. Great swords. <laughs> There's none. Oh, okay. There is a few. Three? Are those three bids? Is that what it means? Well, they have required levels too. So, so if I can get this claymore, ten thousand gold. I think I can afford that much. <laughs> I 
Let's get it on 100. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to get this. Couldn't do it. <laughs> Let's see if I can get like a an axe or a regular sword. Level thirteen, so high levels. Eight, see close. Her sister. That was I still don't have enough. Never mind. Let's just leave this place. <laughs> I'm not gonna level for anything here. I'm gonna end the episode soon here, guys. Let me just finish my mission and I'll go fight a few more things. Well, let's just finish this mission. Next time, I'm gonna fight some enemies, try to level up, and get some new equipment. I think he's over here. Yes. I have a compass, I don't have a map. <laughs> That's an awesome pet. I talk to it. It's a moon rabbit. <laughs> talk to a rabbit. Pretty hard to miss it, isn't it? Yeah, actually. Luckily, I found it. <laughs> what do you think? Is it as I said? Yes, few visits in this world exceed auction house scale in scale. It never ceased to be as used to without your adventures. It'd be. Why is to become adept at using it? Yeah, there was still a lot of stuff for sale, surprisingly. And now down to brass tacks. Let's see if we can't get you up to some levels. Interesting. There are several items in existence which serve to enhance the number of experience, point experience points you receive for defeating monsters. Nice. For example, the chariot bands, empress bands, emperor bands, just to name a few. These are a bit unique in that you must wait a certain amount of time after equipping them before you may use them. There's there is also a predetermined amount of time, usually quite long, that must pass before these items can be used again. The total number of times you may use any single item is also limited, so be mindful of that as well. Many of these items may be, can, may be obtained from the same guards that provide you with the sign -in. You can only exchange conquest points in order to acquire them. As a matter of fact, for finishing that last assignment, I'm going to give you conquest promotion voucher. This conquest promotion voucher. But this should be able to f obtain a chariot band without having to use any of your conquest points. Interesting. And that brings us to your next assignment. Head over to the yard and have a go at exchanging them for something. And after that, see if you can't make it all the way back, all the way up to level 4. I'll be right here waiting for you when you get back. With the experience bonus in place, it should take you practically no time at all. Good luck and be careful. It can be, it can get quite hairy out there. Alright, so I'm going to end this episode here. I don't want the parts to be running too, too long. Um, but probably 15 to 20 minutes from this point on in the future and yes the graphics are much upgraded i really like it look at his armor i mean it looks really cool really smooth uh, i look i believe my character looks different in the face i don't know more pixels in his face or something but yeah next time we're going to uh go get that uh chariot band and go out there fight a bunch of monsters get probably that level four or five i might go up past four and hopefully try to buy a sword or a great sword I i'm thinking great sword this is final fantasy or a great axe um, it's usually what the main character has, a giant sword of some kind. But yeah, that's it for this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you do, please support this video. Uh, liking and favoriting is appreciated, but you don't have to. Just if you enjoyed, uh, please do so. Thank you guys. See you damn it. God bless.